Hello, hello, good evening. Ricardo, good evening. How's it going? Can hear you. <laughs> Okay. Okay, I can hear you now. <laughs> can you hear me? Yes, sir. I can hear you well. Excellent. Okay. Hey, John. hey. Okay, good evening, Francisco. Good evening, good evening Giovanni. Good evening. Stephanie. Good evening. Stop moving, guys. Erica. <laughs> okay. So, how is it? going. Rebecca, good evening. <laughs> good evening, teacher. Good evening. You look beautiful tonight. Thank you. <laughs> Are you just coming from work? No, I had to do some things outside in the okay. afternoon. Okay. Okay. Good to have you back. Erica, <laughs> Stephanie, Giovanni, Francisco. Hi, teacher. How was today? Um, really good. Really good? Yeah, really, really good. Come on, talk to me. What did you do? <laughs> um, I sell a lot of um, much product in my job. Hmm. And I, I go to the my house very very happy really okay i went to my house remember past i went to my house and when you talk about oh, plurals yeah. and when you talk about plurals you say many many problems okay a lot of problems many problems okay. much trouble i went i wasn't much trouble yes i was in much trouble you cannot count trouble okay ricardo how are you I'm doing great. What about you? Uh, in my case, uh, yesterday I was uh, um, a few hours in my home, and then the, I, I I repaired uh, my car. Uh, really, by yourself? <laughs> I try. I try. Excellent. Are you are you a DIY guy? Are you a DIY guy? I don't understand the last part. DIY guy. Do it I, yourself. Ah, uh, I try. <laughs> you try. Uh, so, something, something. I try to to make. Uh, you try to to stay busy. Fix fix uh, some. You try, to, you try to stay busy or they force you to stay busy? <laughs> <laughs> because no, they, come they down, come you. down, come down. <laughs> don't go there, don't go there. Okay, <laughs> I got you. Yeah, I like mechanics too. I, I, had, a, I had a Volkswagen Golf from oh. 1983, a 1983 GTI Rabbit. Oh. Remember the Volkswagens? Yeah, yeah. So that was amazing. American version. It was an amazing car, but I sold it. I sold it due to the pandemic. This whole pandemic thing, I had uh -huh. to. I had to sell it, unfortunately. <sighs> but that's well, the way it is, right? Sorry for you. Yeah, <laughs> I'm still. I'm still very <laughs> sad, you know. Yeah. It is, it is what yeah, it is. No. Okay, Giovanni, Erica, hello. Hello, teacher. How's it going? How was your long weekend? Well, I'm traveled in my weekend. <laughs> you tra I traveled. I traveled in my weekend. Wh where Where did you travel? Uh, I travel at uh, the semi center. To the semi center of the earth, or <laughs> the no of, of El Salvador. Yes, El Salvador. Where where is that? 
well, the travel de la Union. To la Union, uh, I traveled uh, to uh, la Union. Repeat, I traveled. I traveled to la Union. Uh -huh. uh, San Vicente. San Vicente. Okay, how was it? Uh, um, uh, I am the uh, and the San Vicente lived my family for part the my mother. Okay, and wait, stop. Okay, so my let's start with the sure. subject. Can okay. somebody can somebody start with the subject? Paraphrase. Listen, paraphrase Erica's sentence. She said that San Vicente leaves my parents. My family is from my parents, right? So how, what what is she trying to say, uh, Marlon, Giovanni, Stephanie? What is she trying to say? You got the idea, right? Los estoy probando, señores, porque quiero que lleguemos a un punto en el que yo ya no los voy a corregir, sino que entre ustedes van a encontrar las áreas de oportunidad de sus compañeros, ¿ok? Y van a poder parafrasear las oraciones reestructurando lo que su compañero está diciendo. So again, good job, Erika. She, she, she said, okay, uh, I went to San Vicente because my parents' family, right? Or my father's family. My father's family lives in San Vicente, right? Right. That's what she's trying to say. So good. My parents, no, my father's family. My father's family is the, the subject. And then they live in San Vicente. My parents' family or my father's family live in San Vicente. Good job. Good. That's the purpose. We have to talk so I can help you and we can all help each other. Okay. Listening to examples today. What's in for today? Anybody else wants to talk before we move on to the platform? Marlon, Victor? I never I never heard Victor before, have I? Have we have we heard Victor talking? No, we never heard Victor talking, right? Hello, Victor. Victor. He's <laughs> not there. Oh, there he is. Hi, Victor. Victor. <laughs> Come on, Victor. My God, so, so much suspense right now. He's thrilling me. Okay, he doesn't want to talk. Okay, he has a little interference. I got it. Okay, English. <laughs> okay, guys, let's go with today's topic so we can start the class. We have a lot to cover this week. And the first topic we're going to talk about is something very easy. Count and non-count nouns. Can somebody use um, English to explain what are count and non-count nouns? Rebecca, would you like to try it? OK. Uh, the count nouns are the ones you can easily add an S to make plural. And the non counts are the, the objects that you can pluralize, like um, water, for example. You can, you can say, I have one water or two water. Exactly. Just like in Spanish, right? Thank you, Rebecca. That was amazing. Thank you. Um, yes, Salvadorians would typically say los dineros del pueblo. <gasps> right? So you cannot pluralize. It's like saying um, las azúcares, right? No, you cannot pluralize uncountables. Uncountables. And by the way, Rebecca, repeat. Water. Water. Excellent, Victor. It's very windy where I live and I have interference with the network. Oh my God. If you speak as you write, great, bro. <laughs> that was really good. Okay, 
So let's see, let's watch a little bit of the video. I may stop the video at some point and so we can participate and we can give a better explanation of the topic, okay? Okay, turn on your ears, please pay attention and write down any questions, okay? So we can discuss them in a minute. Problems in a city. You'll do this by using count and non-count nouns. Let me give you a quick example of this. There's too much traffic in my city because there are too many cars. You'll also listen to an audio program which illustrates how this topic is used. First of all, nouns. What are nouns? Well, nouns are people, places, or things. Pretty much everything that you see around you is considered a noun. And what do we mean by count nouns? Well, count nouns are simply all of those things, people, places, or things that you can easily count. So for example, when we think about cars, subway lanes, buses, those are nouns that you can easily count. Let me give you an example of other nouns that we can easily count. For example, we can count things like a pen, a computer, a bottle, a spoon, a desk, a cup, a television, a chair, shoe, a finger, flower, camera, stick, balloon, book, table. Okay, just the way Rebecca said, and I loved that explanation, um, but she missed, we missed something more. You can add articles, okay, singular articles to countable nouns. You can say a pen, okay, two pens, you can count them. Uh, pluralized, as, as Rebecca said, uh, two pens, three computers, okay, the computer, a computer, okay. Let's see any with a vowel, there are none with a vowel. But anyways, a shoe, okay, the shoes, etc. So you can use an article and you can use both forms of the verb to be, okay? We will see that in the examples, okay? So pay attention, let's continue. Etc. Another thing that I would like to mention about count nouns is that we can easily change these count nouns into plurals by simply adding an S. Now let me point out what non-count nouns are. And just like I mentioned previously, count nouns are all of those things that you can count. People, places, or things that are easy to count, such as cars, subway lanes, or buses, like we see on the example. Now, with non-count nouns, what that means is that we're going to look at nouns that are difficult to count. So for example, in our chart, we see things like traffic, things like pollution, public transportation, parking. Those are a little bit difficult to count. So let me give you more examples of some of the things that cannot be counted quite easily. And therefore, we consider this non-count nouns. So if we think about things like water, wood, ice, air, oxygen, English, Spanish, these are subjects, traffic, furniture, milk, wine, sugar, rice, meat, flour, things like sports, soccer. All of these things are non-countable. They cannot be counted easily. Another thing that's important to mention about non-count nouns is that we don't add an S in order to ch change them to plural. They, they do not have a plural form. Next, what I would like to do is I would like to play an audio program for you so that you can listen to the perspective of some people about their city. And remember that the goal of this class is to learn how to express problems that exist within a city. For example, there's too much traffic. In okay, um, do you have any questions up to this point? Alguien tiene alguna pregunta? Please. Did you understand what I text? What I typed? ¿Se entendieron lo que escribí? Que decía abstract ideas? Untangible things?
Erika, no? All good? Yes, but uh, en español. <laughs> sure, sure, sure. Entiendo que, no sé si estoy mal, pero entiendo que eh, los contables son, por ejemplo, las cosas que pueden contarse, pero con respecto a lo demás, es en los incontables son los que no se pueden contar, así como el agua, el azúcar, el arroz, la, no pueden contar. Excelente. Correcto. Uh -huh. Liquids. Ok, liquids, Ajá. gases, made of small Oxy. particles, lo que está hecho de pequeñas partículas, como por ejemplo cuando vas a la playa. A la arena. Arena, El sand. Agua. Ahora, Ajá. en inglés hay cosas que tú dirás, pero eso lo puedo contar. Por ejemplo, bread. Ok. El pan. Para nosotros, para nosotros es contable, pero, pero en Estados Unidos, o sea, los americanos o de las personas de habla inglés no uh, lo consideran como contable, sino como incontable, debido a que está hecho para ellos de pequeñas partículas. O se cuentan los, el pan de caja, por ejemplo, the love, the love. Um, ok. Meat. Butter. Butter. Yeah, butter. You cannot count butter. So, what do you use to count butter? ¿Qué utilizas? You count with bars. Butter bars. Butter bars. Mm -hmm. Ahora, recuerden, esto es un noun en este caso. Y este sería lo que lo califica. ¿De qué es la barra? Bar. De mantequilla. De mantequilla. You could be, it could be a chocolate bar. Chocolate bar. Okay. The same happens with the following. You have money. Why can you count money? Why can you say one money, two monies, or two money, three money? No, right? No. So what no. do you use? What do you say to count money? Bill, coin. Hmm? Bill Much, coin. A lot. Bill um, coin. Bill dollars. Excellent. Dollars. Uh -huh. Euros. Colones. Colones. Okay. You use Canadian. Pounds. Okay, euros, okay, pounds, okay, yeah, British pounds, okay, Canadian dollars, euros, okay, etc. All of these, okay, all of those are called currency. Currency. Okay. You need currency, you need currency to count money. Okay. okay. Who, who understands currency? What is currency? Moneda. Excellent. Yeah, that means moneda. So I was talking to you about abstract ideas and that I love abstract ideas. What are abstract ideas? Abstract ideas. Let's work. Ideas abstractas. Yeah, for example, the government. Quantities. No. A society. Society. Excellent. Society. Yeah, society is uh, an abstract idea. The air. <laughs> Just by saying. An idea is an abstract idea. The fact that you cannot touch it. Las cosas que no puedo tocar ni ver se vuelven ideas abstractas creadas por mi imaginación. Entonces, ahora, el punto de todo esto, chicos, es que todo esto yo lo puedo reemplazar con un sujeto. Y es lo que quiero que aterrices. Que es muy útil aterrizar esto de las ideas abstractas. El agua, el aire, la arena, whatever. Okay, the sunlight. Sunlight la luz del sol, se reemplaza con it. it. Just think about it. Solo en eso pensar, cuando veas un cúmulo de cosas que no puedes contar, como estas en singular, solo pensar en it, y te va a ayudar a conjugar el verbo, si estás hablando en presente simple, right? Y ahorita que vamos a ocuparlos, pues, te va a servir de mucho tratarlo como un singular, un objeto singular. Got it? 
Got it. So, Got it. So every time you see an uncountable, you need to use, um, treat it. You need to treat it as a singular. Okay? As a singular. How come? So you say water, and then you know that you need to use the verb to be in singular. If. Mm -hmm. Or as you saw on the example, there, what follows? What verb to be? Or. If. Okay, is, is. That's the point. There is water in the fridge. In the, in the fridge. Okay. Now following, following this, this example, let's talk about the weather. How can you translate the following sentence? Mm -hmm. There is. Excellent. Mm -hmm. Hurricane C A. Hey, be careful. Where is the article? There is a hurricane. Uh, okay, a uh, hurricane. Yeah. Mm -hmm. There's a hurricane in Central America. Okay, mm -hmm. hey, there's a hurricane in Central America. There is a there hurricane. Is a hurricane. In hurricane. 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 A hurricane. Hey, hurricane. hurricane. My, Can you spell hurricane? Yes, I'm wrong, right? <laughs> yeah, I yeah. spell it. Is that right? No. Yes. Mm. Yes, hu hurricane. Is that right? You sure, Ricardo? I'm sure. Okay, thank you. Thank you. You already check it. Thank you. Hey guys, help me. Okay. If I make a mistake, help me. Sometimes I, I'm very tired sometimes so thank you for the help okay good do you have any questions with uncountables no okay uncountable no okay good so you you need um i missed that you need you need measurements Okay, you need measurements to talk about, yeah, to talk about uncountables. So your homework will be, make sure you study, you study measurements. For example, a tin. What is a tin? Tin. Mm-hmm. A tin of tuna. Do you remember America, Ricardo? America? Tin man. I am tin man. Do you remember uh, tin man, America? Ojalata. El hombre de Ojalata. There you go. <laughs> America. Great song. Beautiful song. A paint of paint. Um, a tooth. <coughs> toothbrush, no, tooth, toothpaste, bro, um, a toothpaste tube, tube, a toothpaste tube. Okay, and so on. There's a lot of measurements. A picture. <laughs> a picture of what? or a lemonade pitcher a pitcher of lemonade okay a piece of pizza okay. a piece of pizza no a, pi a pizza will slide. be a slide a slide, slide. slide of pizza very good pitcher. so that's what you use when you cannot count but in this case, what would you plutalize? 
And that's the point. Slide people. Que pluralizarias? Slides. slides, right? So you will say, for example, two slides of pizza. Slides. 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 Okay, slides. you will say three pieces, three pieces. of cake. Uh huh. Two pictures. Two pictures of lemonade. Although, although, all, all, siempre escúchense, ¿ok? Um, two mm. lemonade pitchers. Sounds better, right? What do you think? Two lemonade pit pitchers. Um, toothpaste tube. Five toothpaste tubes. A pint of paint. Mm -hmm. Only five pints of paint and ten tins of tuna. Ten tins of tuna. Paint. So, got it? Got it. Got it? Okay. And yeah, yes, yeah. at someone mentioned there, you have also pounds, uh, you have kilos, right? Gallons. Etc. CC. CC. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. Got it? Those okay. are measurements. Measure. Okay. Measurements. Measurements. Measurements is what you use to count uncountable nouns. Let's finish the session with the video. In my Let's city, see. because there are too many cars. And we want to use count nouns and non-count nouns to express uh, those ideas. So we're going to listen to that and I will have you answer a couple of questions about that. The buses are old and slow and they cause too much pollution. In cities with less pollution, people are healthier. There are too many cars. All the cars, taxis and buses are a danger to bicyclists. There is too much traffic. There should be fewer cars, but I think that the biggest problem is parking. There just isn't enough parking. The last thing that I would like for you to do now is to answer some questions about your city. And what I would like for you to do is to tell me whether there is a lot of traffic in your city. So I'm going to ask the question, is there a lot of traffic in your city are there many buses in your city are there enough police officers in your city is there too much pollution in your city and as you're answering these questions that I just posted I want you to identify the nouns that I'm using. So tell me whether the nouns that I'm using, whether they're count or non-count. So for example, traffic is the first one. Is that count or non-count? Uh, police officers, is that count or non-count? Um, buses, is that? Okay, good. Um, so can somebody tell me, is traffic a countable or uncountable noun? Uncountable. Uncountable? Perfect. It is uncountable. Why? It's an abstract idea. Okay. It doesn't exist. It's just traffic. Okay. Uh, buses. Are buses countable or uncountable? Countable. What about people? Uncountable. Uncountable? Hmm. People? One people, no, but you say people is the plural of person. person. Very good. Police officers. Countable. Countable, right? Because it's plural. Now I want you to keep an eye, keep an eye on this. If it is pluralized, then it is countable. If it is not pluralized, then it is uncountable. For example, pollution. What is it? 
Uncountable. Uncountable. And again, that's an abstract idea. Okay, so is there a lot of traffic in your city? Yes, Giovanni, what city? In San Salvador or? San Salvador. Is there a lot yes. of traffic? Yes, there are. Elaborate, keep yeah, talking, okay. keep talking. Okay, in San Salvador, there are um, a lot of traffic. Um... <laughs> Remember, there is, there is, there, there is. Yes, there is. got it. Continue, keep there going. Is a lot, there is a lot of traffic um, every day, practically. Um, and any hours. In any hours. Okay. Hmm. Yep, yeah, keep going. Um, I don't know. <laughs> keep <laughs> talking, keep talking. Okay, guys, I think I haven't taught you that there is something that I want you to investigate, okay, to do a research. And even for Rebecca, who has a great accent and speaks a lot in this class, I love it. Even for her, everybody, um, Google the following video, okay? It's called the jam, jam technique, okay? Jam stands for just a minute, okay? Just a minute. It's a technique that will help you improving your speaking like this, really quick, okay? That will help you just the way I'm doing right now, Giovanni. I'm challenging, I'm challenging you to speak don't stop, don't stop, don't stop, keep talking. So your brain needs more ideas. Now that I gave you some time, ahora que te dio un poco de tiempo, ahorita tu cerebro ya dijo, no, híjole, la regué, espérame, hey, podría haber hablado de esto. <laughs> right, Giovanni? <laughs> You're like, wait, no, puede haber dicho esto, no lo dije, okay? So just a minute, first thought, first thought is always a mistake when you start talking. It's always a mistake. Second thoughts, you think twice. Better, it gets better. Third thought, then you get better ideas. Okay, got it? Got it. Good, look for it. Do a research so you can improve the speaking, everybody. Okay, let's keep going. So next question, are there many buses in your city, Edwin? Haven't talked. To Edwin today. Hi. Uh, 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 there is uh, ever traffic. <laughs> uh, uh, Look at the subject. I'm sorry, the yeah, the object. Buses. Ah, sorry. Uh, uh, there is uh, <laughs> but sorry, there are uh, many bus buses. Buses. <laughs> buses. There yes. are many buses in in San Salvador, in Soyapango, in... Híjole, okay. In, eh, in my city. In my city. Okay. Hmm. hmm. What do you think, guys? Um, Hermes, are there many buses in San Salvador? Yes, there are many buses in San Salvador. In El Salvador, what about in San Salvador? There are many too. Two. There are many too, perfect. Okay, excellent guys. Okay, are there enough police officers in your city, Rebecca? Mm, there aren't uh, enough police officer in my city, I think, because we need uh, more police officers to manage the traffic in the streets, but 
they are not enough. They are not enough. They are not enough. Not not enough. Not enough. Not enough. Good. Excellent. Okay. Stephanie, is there too much pollution in your city? Teacher, yo con la anterior tenía una pregunta. Gramaticalmente sure. hablando, y se lo voy a decir en español. Sure. Cuando usted lo escribe, la respuesta es correcto solamente decir there are many buses in my city sin el if al inicio. Correcto, porque lo ocupas después. Correcto, sería yes. There uh -huh. are many buses uh -huh. in my city. Ya no digo your, ya. Yeah. Estoy hablando de mí. Ok. Uh, yes, cuando es incontable. There is a lot of traffic. Mm, especially during high peak hours. ¿Qué es lo que trataba de decir Giovanni por ahí? Ok. So yes, there are many buses. Ocupo many porque tengo un plural. Good. Yes, there is a lot of traffic. Es lo que vamos a ver a continuación. Cómo usar quantifiers, cuantificadores con este tema. Um, especially during high, uy, high peak hours. Sorry, high peak hours. You know what is high peak hours? Para pico. Sí, high peak hours. ¿Qué es? What is it? High peak is hora pico, right? Como horas altas. High peak hours. Okay. Good. Um, Stephanie, I don't know if I answered your question. Mm, sí. Sí? Okay. Sí. Lo que pasa es que tenía un ejemplo. Y uh -huh. en el ejemplo, cuando usted lo responde en español, aparte de decir, no, no, no utiliza la palabra yes, sino que if a eso esa era mi consulta si solamente podríamos contestar del there are many there o are many. necesaria ajá, eh, gramaticalmente oh en pues, lugar de decir ajá. yes or no sí yeah, de, sí puede de, de un solo, de un solo, de decir there are así there are there are many buses in my city okay there's a lot of buses in my city I got you okay. Okay. okay, good job. Okay, now answer for me, please. Is there too much pollution in your city? Is there too much pollution in your city? Maria Luisa? Maria Luisa, that's my problem. <laughs> yes, I there too much pollution in my city. Okay, again, yes, there. Yeah. Is yes, there is much most pollution 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 in my city. Excellent in my city. In my city. Okay. There is there is much pollution. Do you understand the word pollution, guys? Yeah. Pollution. Okay. Good. ¿Alguna otra pregunta con este tema hasta acá? Solo hemos visto eh, lo que es incontable y lo que es contable, ¿ok? But on the next, on the next topic, on the next topic, we're going to talk about um, Sorry, give me one second, this thing is stuck. Yeah, it got stuck, sorry. There it is. Okay, so on the next topic, we're going to discuss how to use quantifiers, which is very useful too. I don't know why my screen is acting up. Hold on. Okay, better. There we go. Okay, next topic will be expressions of quantity or quantifiers. Okay, which has to do with the previous topic. 
um, ese tema de there is, there aren't, tendrían que haberlo visto en las sesiones básicas o en el inglés básico que han estudiado para estar en intermedio, ¿verdad? So, there is, es para singulares, decíamos, there are, para plurales. Ok. Y ahorita vamos a ver um, adverbios de cantidad. Ok. So, let's study this really quick. Let's go. In a city. For example, there are too many cars in my city. There's too much pollution in my city. We need more public transportation. We need more police officers. You'll also learn how to use adverbs of quantity. For example, too many, too much, fewer, more. In our previous class, we learned about count and non-count nouns. And that is what's going to help us to understand when we're going to use too many. For example, in this case, we have cars. Uh, we are going to use too many. And when we're going to use too much. For example, in this case, we have a non-count noun, and therefore we're going to use too much. So let's now try to make sense of this by looking at this chart. Let me talk a little bit about making sense of this statement here. There are too many cars. And I'm also going to talk about making sense of this next statement. There aren't enough buses. Let me present the structure now. In order for us to make sense of there are too many cars, we need to understand the following rule. Uh, and that is that we're going to have there. And by the way, this can be the subject of the sentence. It doesn't necessarily need to be there. Like, for example, we can say we have too many cars. And let me go ahead. As I am talking about that, I'm going to go ahead and write the examples now. So let me write the example that is there. There are, whenever you see the expression too many, that means that there is a problem, that we have too much of too many. In this case, there are too many cars. OK, um, and just so that we keep the pattern there, I'm going to go ahead and change the colors um, there. And that follows the verb to be. And then we have too many. What I would like to do next is to make sense of that last statement that you see there. There aren't enough buses. And this is whenever we. OK, I'm going to stop the video here. I need to know. If you have questions of what you see on your screen, necesito saber si alguien tiene preguntas con lo que ven en su pantalla. There are too many cards, and Jose was es, estaba explicando que cuando decimos too many significa un problema porque tenemos demasiado de algo, right? Number two, there should be fewer cars. There should be fewer cars. Okay, since uh, como nadie quiere hablar, voy a ir seleccionando uno por uno para uh, ir, te, ir probando. Vamos a ver, Juliana Araceli. Yes. Thank you. Um, how do you understand this, this sentence? There should be fewer cards. Number two, there should be fewer cars. ¿Cómo entiendes esa oración, Araceli? Um, there should be fewer. Uh, how, how many fee? Um, uh -huh. Ay, no sé cómo. ¿Qué significa? What is the meaning? Fewer. Uh, fewer. Fewer. Men, uh -huh. Menos. Menos. Como que debería um, haber menos. Carros. Excellent. Yes. Debería haber menos carros. Excellent. Thank you very much. Let's see. Merci okay. Mendoza. We need more subway lines. Uh, Líneas de subterráneo, ¿verdad? De subterráneo. Ajá, pero sí sabe que es Subway. Excelente. Sí. Very good, Mercy. Good okay. job. Good. 
uh, Gil Sigfredo Norberto. Hello. Hello. How do you understand there aren't enough buses? There aren't enough buses. No, aunque no hay suficientes buses. Perfect. Excellent. Very good. Um, let me go with Abel and Nilsson. Yes. Easy. There is too much traffic. There is too much traffic. Debería de haber mucho. Hay mucho tráfico también. Perfect. Hay mucho tráfico. Okay. There should be less pollution. Carlos. Al Barino Pineda. <laughs> there should be less pollution. Yes, yes. Mm -hmm. How how do you understand that sentence? There should be less. There should be what? less. There should yes, be. Me. There should be less pollution. Deberían estar. What's the meaning of less pollution? Menos eh, contaminación. Ok. Debería haber menos contaminación. Ok. Good. Mm -hmm. Ok. And last, we have Abigail. There isn't enough parking. Uh, necesitamos más transporte público. Oh, ok. Esa es la siguiente. We need more public transportation. Pero qué tal? There isn't enough parking. Um, do, you um, remember, do you remember Jennifer Lopez? Yes. Jennifer Lopez, enough. There is a movie. <laughs> Where, where her husband hits her all the time. He's a buller and he's always kicking her, right? Hitting her and she fights him and she kills the guy. She kills the guy, remember? Enough? Yes. Uh, como a ver menos violencia. Uh, uh, okay, there isn't enough parking. No hay? Okay. Suficiente parqueo. Okay. Enough, Abigail, quiere decir suficiente. Enough. Ah, no. Mm -hmm. Ok, no hay suficiente parqueo. Ok, súper rápido, chicos. Eh, este tema es bien sencillo. Y cuando hablamos de quantifiers, estamos hablando de esas partículas que ven en negrita. Too many, fewer, more, enough. Eso se ocupan para las uh, countable nouns, lo que puedo contar. Non-countables, ok, los que no puedo contar sería too much, less, more, enough. Ok. Puedo decir que hay suficiente de algo, sí, ¿verdad? There is enough sugar, for example. There is enough sugar. Hay suficiente azúcar. Ok. Too much. So, really quick, there's too much sugar, sería hay mucha Sugar. Hay demasiada azúcar. Ok, so really quick, a quick reminder. You use there is, ok, um, and then you need a quantifier, ok, and then, are those lighting, lightning strokes? Anyways, I mean thunders, there are thunders on the background. Okay, quantifiers, and then you need a countable or non-countable noun. Okay. You need the countable or non-countable noun. Now, lo que quiero recordarles es esto. Este sujeto que está acá en esta manera de hablar con el there is y el there are. Okay. Ese se convierte en mi qué? ¿En mi qué? Sujeto. En, uh, el verbo to be se convierte en mí. Sí. 
auxiliar. Mm. Just don't forget it. No, no se les olvide, ¿ok? Ya le puede decir por qué estamos hablando de esto. Ok, so you can say there isn't or there aren't y todavía ocupar un cuantificador. Ok, decir there isn't enough sugar, there aren't enough pencils, ok, there aren't enough cars, there aren't, there aren't cars, there aren't too many cars. Ok. Y lo mismo pasa al hacer una pregunta. Creo que alguien me hizo esta pregunta antes. Es que si puedo contestar con esto. No. Empiezo con el auxiliar. Ok. Is there. Ok. Continúo con el cuantificador. Por ejemplo. Is there enough time? Is there enough time? Ok. Are there. Any. Are there any. Uh -huh. And so on. Are there a lot of dishes? Y recuerden, cuando ocupas are, es porque el, el nombre que vas a ocupar, el objeto, lo vas a pluralizar. Uh -huh. Ok, estoy recalcando esto para que no se les olvide. Pluralize the noun. Cuando vas a ocupar are. Ok. Entonces, si aquí voy a ocupar el verbo to be, quiero retarlos un poco. Ok, preguntas con esto. ¿Alguien tiene alguna pregunta? Ya se me acordé. Eh, decía... Um, ¿Dónde está? Sí. And we lost her. Ok. Alguien al principio decía... Eh, sobre este tema, Erika nos estaba diciendo con el is o el are al principio, no sé. Ok, entonces, si yo hablo de there is, estoy hablando de qué tanta cantidad hay al de algo, pero sí, ¿qué, pasa, ¿qué pasa en este caso cuando José, por ejemplo, estaba explicando? We need more of something. Por ejemplo, we need more... Necesitamos más. Uh -huh. Money, for example. Money. En este We caso, ya no estoy ocupando el verbo to be como auxiliar. ¿Cuál sería mi verbo auxiliar aquí? Si lo quiero need. pasar a negativo. Need. Need we more money. Uh -uh. Bien, y este es el punto. Hasta, hasta ahorita, si tú has estado conmigo todo ese tiempo o Eso. ahora que estás conmigo, te voy a recalcar algo. Cada tiempo gramatical tiene un auxiliar. Oí, cada tiempo gramatical tiene un auxiliar. Entonces, estoy hablando. Do, do excelente, María Luisa. Entonces, excellent. Do you need more money? Esa sería la pregunta. Pero, ¿cuál sería el negativo entonces? Negative. I don't need. Well, doesn't. María Luisa, very good. We don't. ¿Por qué doesn't? We don't need more money. Ok, we don't need more money. Ok, eh, repasen eso, señores. Does solo me va, a, me va a servir para he, she, and it. Bien, a este punto ya no me puedo estar dando el lujo de equivocarme en eso. Esto, hay que corregirlo, ok. Pero se, solo se va a hacer con la práctica, ok. So we don't, we don't, y trata de decir wrong, wrong, wrong. We don't need, we don't need, we don't need more money. We don't need. Do, more money. Okay. Do you need more money? Do you need more money? No, we don't. We don't need more. Excellent, Maria Luisa. Do you need more money? Okay. More money. Ahora, sí, exacto. Ahí sería he needs more money, she needs more money, or it needs more money. It doesn't. We, she doesn't, she doesn't need more money. Does he, does she, does it need more money? Ahí nos metimos en otro punto. El punto es, ojo, con el auxiliar que voy a ocupar. Ok. Uh, then we have, I think that's all. Creo que si ¿Sí entendieron ese punto, cuidado con el auxiliar que están utilizando porque se pueden confundir. Ok. Ok. Good. Entonces, enough. Countables. También se puede ocupar con el countables, como puede ver, en negativo. Ok. También se puede en positivo. There is enough. 
Bien preguntas. There's okay. enough water. There's enough water. Okay. Do we have enough water? Do we have enough water? Good. Questions? What about time? Time. Perfect question. Y de nuevo, time is an abstract idea. Abstract idea. Yeah. yeah. So you tell me, Ricardo. Oh, who's talking? Hermes? No. Victor? <laughs> who's talking? Wait, I cannot see you. Yeah. Ricardo, okay. What do you think, Ricardo? What is time? Is it an abstract idea? Give me an example with time. We need more time for the quiz. <laughs> yes. Mm -hmm. We need more time for the quiz. Okay. What else? Uh, enough. <laughs> enough. That's enough. That's, that's enough. an expression. It's, it's an expression. That's enough. That's okay. enough. That's enough. Thank you. Okay. And let's study this conversation, this uh, part on the on the platform, guys. And don't forget to complete your exercises, okay? It's very important for you to fill it out. But basically, as you can see, what I just explained you is here, okay? The structure that I just explained you. Okay, light is going out. Okay. okay. Do you have any questions? Teacher, una pregunta. Eh, siempre se ve, el... bueno, siempre he visto los quantifiers, pero esos son, se utilizan casi siempre en, el... okay. en el tiempo presente. Y qué pasa cuando hay, hay algo en, en pasado, como por ejemplo, decir hubo mucho tráfico, también va a sufrir cambios los verbos, sí, ¿verdad? ¿Cómo dirías eso? Ya, por ejemplo, aquí dice... Hay es la tráfico. oración. No, no, no. La oración que acabas de hacer. Dale, Frank. Dijiste, había mucho tráfico. Hubo. O ah, hubo mucho tráfico, hubo. específicamente. Sí. Hubo mucho tráfico. How would you do it? ¿Cómo lo harías? Audible should. ¿Seguimos usando? Eh, eh. Ajá. ¿A ¿Alguien lo dijo por ahí? Marlon creo que lo dijo. Ajá. Yes. Pasaje el verbo to be ha pasado, Francisco. Very good. There was a lot of traffic. There was a lot of traffic. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay, let's make it in a different way. There was less traffic on Tuesday, for example. There was less traffic on Tuesday. So, esa es otra cosa para hablar de um, la menor cantidad es less, right? More, less. The opposite of more is less. Okay. Good. We covered two topics today. Um, please study. Y recuerden, lo que no se está practicando, se está arruinando. Por favor, cuídense mucho, protejan a su familia, resguárdense bien. Si están mayores como yo, eh, <ríe> tápense bien. Tápense bien, porque si va, aparentemente va a estar feo esto, pues que Dios nos ayude. Cuídense mucho, ¿ok? I'll see you. I'll see you tomorrow. See you tomorrow. Take care. Tomorrow. Good night. Good night. Good night.